Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove noise from your videos in the free version of DaVinci Resolve without using any plugins whatsoever. Let's take a look. Ask anybody who uses the studio version of DaVinci Resolve and they're sure to tell you that their noise reduction tool in the color page is second to none. It just works, it's amazing. Unfortunately, that particular tool isn't available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve and for a long time, I actually thought there was no way to remove noise from my videos in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. But as it turns out, I was very, happily mistaken. You can in fact remove noise from your videos in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. It's not using the same tool as they have in studio, but there is a way. We're gonna have to jump into the Fusion page in order to do it. It's super, super easy. Let's jump in and get started. All right, we're here in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. I've got a clip lined up and ready to go. This is actually a clip from my latest vlog. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it in the description so you can check it out. But I've already graded this clip and if I play it back, I really like the colors and I like the contrast. What I don't like is the noise that I'm seeing in the walls and in the darker areas of the image. So we're gonna try and get rid of that using the noise removal tool in the Fusion page. So the first thing that we're gonna do is click on our clip we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to new fusion clip. We're gonna make sure that fusion clip is selected and we're going to head over to the fusion page. And once the fusion page is loaded up, you'll see your normal stuff. You got your video and your playback monitor and down here in the nodes, you've got media in and media out. So we'll wanna make sure that media in is selected. We're gonna hit shift space. We're gonna type in noise and we're gonna choose remove noise and hit add. Now, if we head over to our inspector, you'll see we've got a lot of options. We've got softness red, softness green, softness blue, and then details for red, green, and blue. And you can use this to really dial in your noise removal and only get rid of the noise in certain colors, but eh, I don't have time for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit lock and that's just gonna overall give us softness and detail. And if you go up to method and you hit that drop down box, you can either work in the color because sometimes it's the color that's creating the noise or you can go over to chroma because sometimes it's the chroma creating noise and you got the same thing, softness and detail. If we unlock that, you've got softness luma, softness chroma, detail luma and detail chroma. We're gonna go back to color. We're gonna hit that lock button again and we're gonna bring the softness up and you'll see that that looks really, really bad. We just got a horrible blurry image right there. So let's go ahead and fix that by bringing the detail up. And the image is still softer, but you'll see that there's a lot less noise in the image than there was before. Now let's go ahead and come over to chroma because I think a lot of that noise was also created by the contrast. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that softness up. I'm gonna bring that detail up. And once again, we still have a softer image, but that noise is pretty much gone. I do wanna fix the softness in the image a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of an unsharp mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift space and I'm gonna type in unsharp. I'm gonna choose unsharp mask, hit add. And I'm just gonna leave it in its default settings. That's gonna add a little bit of sharpness to my image to bring back some of that detail. And now if I play you back the final version, you'll see that we still got the nice color. We still got the nice contrast and now we have a lot less noise than we did before. Now, while the noise removal tool in the Fusion page is simple to use and it's powerful and it works, your best bet is always to get as little noise in your original footage as possible. In order to do that, you need to expose your shot correctly. If you wanna learn more about that, I actually made a video for you. You can check that out right here. And for more videos on how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.